Question number five, John Mack. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Police and asks, given reports that on 9 August she admitted that there are not enough police and that she was in talks with the Prime Minister over the matter, can she advise whether the talks have ended or are still ongoing? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, actually what I said, and I've said quite consistently, is that police will need more resources going into the future. This is absolutely the case. And as I've also said, I've been working on this for quite some time now. This is not back of the envelope numbers plucked out of thin air stuff. Our police actually deserve proper consideration discussion, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, can she explain how will our understaffed police force be expected to attend every burglary while trying at the same time to combat organised crime, or does her government consider combating organised crime to be a low priority now? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, I have full confidence in the Commissioner of Police when he has advised me that police can, in fact, attend every burglary, whether it's a police officer or whether it's an author authorised officer or a forensic services person. And I have full confidence in police when they say that they do have those resources at the moment, but they accept as well that they're going to need more resources into the future. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister, what good news does she have for the communities of Palmerston North, Christchurch, Northland and many other towns and regions across the country who are reporting increased levels of crime, a reduction in police officers and resources, and those police officers who will be on duty over the Christmas and New Year period? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, just dealing first with Northland, because that's um, one of the, I think, four, four questions there. Um, let's have a look at Northland. Well, I've been advised that in August 12, CIB investigators from Auckland were sent to assist Northland District for three weeks, with six going to Kaitai, another half to Kaikoui. And additionally, six extra investigators are being allocated to the district for the next 12 months, which that member, I hope, will appreciate. Four of these began work on October the 10th. Two positions are still to be filled. They'll be based in Kaikoui, but will move around the district as needed. The team sent in August have helped to clear a backlog of serious crime files and provide support to local staff, as has happened with regard to Northland at different times and periods over the last 10 months. In addition, six public safety team officers from across Auckland were also sent to assist frontline staff in Kaikoui and Kai Kaui. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Can the Minister give the House an absolute assurance that there will not be any announcements from police commanders in the regions, specifically the Manawatu, Horofanua, Wairarapa, that there are going to be police cuts and the removal of officers who are sole officers in the districts they're currently in. An absolute categorical assurance. Order the Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, quite clearly, as a minister, it is not my prerogative to advise where police should be placed, because if they were, they'd all be in my electorate, obviously. Um, so <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. And, um, and it is very important, though, to allow the police to undertake the allocation of the resources that they have, but I would say to that member that thankfully there's 600 more police now than there ever was under a previous government. Question number six, Catherine.